Hello, yogans. This is Amanda Shepard from Amanda Shepard Yoga and doing another play along practice. And hopefully, you can join me and enjoy it and maybe like and subscribe. Um, check the description to see where we go today. And I'm just going to let you know I'm a little tired. So I don't know how rigorous it will be, but we'll find out as we get going. Um, props, blanket, uh, two blocks, and a strap, always a good idea. So you can have those nearby. And um, let's get started. Maybe sitting on your blanket or your blocks if you like the Vajrasana on a block, that works as well. Sitting up nice and tall, elbows underneath the shoulders. Just let the spine come to its tallest. See if you can notice more space between the bones, that the discs between the spine are as spacious as they can be. She needs a bath. And just be a witness of your breathing. Breath changes periodically throughout the day, about every 90 minutes, uh, the nostril dominant switches. But just our general energy affects the breath more than anything as well. It's so busy this time of year, so it's December depending on uh, when you're watching this, but that's when it's being filmed. So see if you can use the time on your mat, no matter when you're watching, to just let yourself feel the breath and feel your practice as a, um, a time to be more easeful within yourself. start with Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu. Uh, may all beings be happy and free. I think that's a nice space to start our practice. Do three of those and then um, an Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, peace, peace and perfect peace. Loka samasta suki no bhavantu. Loka samasta suki no bhavantu. Loka samasta suki no bhavantu. Om shanti shanti shanti. allow the idea of sort of silence and quieting that last moment of silence in the own to settle in to the body and into your energy um, maybe let that be your source for practice today so do your next inhale let's find a sense of cow pose just extending the spine exhale find that flexion or cat maybe three times and then allow yourself to warm up the spine in all the directions. Moving 
forward and to the right first. And then next time you move to the left, maybe bring the left hand down, reach that right arm overhead, looking up. Inhale here, allow yourself a twist, looking over the right shoulder, looking over the left shoulder, and then right arm under left, Garudasana arms. Switching across of your feet if your legs are crossed. Tense your thighs, exhale into flexion, inhale, extend, maybe a few times. And then inhaling to the front, to the left, exhaling to the back and to the right a few times. Allow your right arm to come down, either your forearm or your fingertips or your palm, or you can have your hand on a block. All right, ribs to sky. Inhale back through center, finding your twist, looking over the left shoulder, and then the right shoulder. Left arm goes underneath the right, Garudasana arms, breathing here. Spreading the collarbones. Crown of the head is straight up to the sky. Gently unwind and take your support system out and let's um, line up on the mat for um, cat cows. All right, perfect, lost enough. Wrist underneath the shoulders. from your cat position, tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back, inviting Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. First one of the day, so move easy. Maybe finding a nice high plank and undulating through some spinal rolls from your Adho Mukha Svanasana. You can allow them to even become exaggerated, maybe even rolling over the toes and inviting a board of Mukhasvanasana. Wrist right under the shoulders, keep the belly in. Exhale, come all the way down to Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose, lifting your hand. Keep the belly in, travel nice and long. Maybe invite the feet. Or if reach those arms overhead and then open like a cactus. Just letting the back of the body get nice and strong. Exhaling to bend the elbows, inhaling forward. Hands down by your low ribs, bring the feet back down. Knees lift, Ordva Mukhasvanasana. Exhale, Ajva Mukhasvanasana. Take your head yes and no, whatever feels good. Let's reach that right leg back, open the hip, couple hip circles each direction. Looking over under your left arm so you can see your toes. And I love to reach that right arm up. And maybe even find the ankle. Back to Pindalasana prep, variation. Exhale, gently release. Bring that knee to your chest. And step it up into a long four boat to an asana. Allow yourself to fold over. And then let's just step that left foot in. And come on up, setting up for four boat to an asana. Why not? Arms out to the side, turn the thumbs down. Reverse prayer if your shoulders can do that. If not, knuckles together, that's my variation. Lengthen the tailbone, belly button over the knees, slight twist, and come on forward enough that you feel your hamstrings on that right leg. Some of you, it's like an inch, and some of you, it's all the way over the leg. 
Let your head go. Really the air. to rise with the feet coming on up and let's keep that right palm reaching away reach that left arm up and around maybe you clasp maybe you don't go mukasana arms knit the ribs together and then float forward virabhadrasana three gently bend into that right knee step the left foot back line up your feet open up virabhadrasana one Reach your nose, arms to sky. As you exhale, Virabhadrasana two. And then circle back that left shoulder to find your arm placement. Looking over the right fingertips. Left arm down, right arm to sky. They're part of Virabhadrasana. And then Uttita Trikonasana. Nice and long, all four sides of the waist. Seeing if you can invite that opening. Arm to sky, arm overhead. Maybe butterfly kiss on that tricep. And then exhale, plant your palms. Nice and gentle through a vinyasa. Inhale, cobra of dog. Exhale, adho mukha svanasana, downward facing dog. Shake your head out, whatever. Feel where your breath is in the body. Feel the length of your torso, right? If you're naturally uh, prone to splaying the front of the body, like going into a deep back bend, draw your ribs in, knit your sits bones together. If you tend to over round in the spine, then you push your hands to the floor, wrap your triceps down, and lengthen through all four, four sides of your waist. Reach the left leg back, open the hip, couple hip circles each direction. Go over under your right arm to your toes. Maybe allow that left arm to float up and find the ankle. Kick the foot into the hand. And gently release. Exhale, knee to chest. Step it up next to your thumb. The long core about to an asin, just warming up. On your fingertips, you can bring your hands a little closer. So they're right under the shoulders. Belly button's over the knee. And then gently step that right foot in a little bit for core about tanasana properly. Root to rise. Reach your arms out to the side. Reverse prayer or knuckles together, whatever works for you. Just pay attention to your hip. Make sure it's cutting back and not reaching out to the side, right? You want neutral tailbone long. <clears throat> Belly button over the knee, come forward enough so that you feel right here, right in the meat of the hamstrings. Each side might be different. Allow your shoulders to soften. They don't really need to do much here. Let your breath be easy. Then root to rise, coming all the way up. Keep your left palm facing out. And turn your right hand up, maybe you touch, maybe you don't. Go Mukhasana arms. Exhale, float it out. Virabhadrasana three. Sometimes people call it Devasana. Bend into your left knee, step it back for Virabhadrasana one. And really make sure the weight's even in your feet so you want lots of energy underneath that back foot. Lift your right inner thigh, roll it in. And then as you exhale, Virabhadrasana two, and let's circumduct that right arm to find the pose. Part of Virabhadrasana, absorbing the left ribs into the body. Uttita Trikonasana, reaching out nice and long. Allowing your spine to be so 
able to rotate them, it's very easy to lift up with your thumb. Arm overhead. Exhale, plant your palms. Without a sound, you're gonna protract the shoulders, push your hands into the floor, Chaturanga Dandasana with your exhale. Inhale, Ordva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adva Mukha Svanasana. So monitor your pattern for a couple more rounds. Right leg reaching back. Your vinyasa. Maybe inviting that vine. Keep energy underneath your big toe mount of the left foot. And then as you exhale, spin the neck. Long core boat to an asin, onto your fingertips. Left foot's gonna slide in a little bit. Come on up. Belly button over the knee. wherever you can. Root to rise, come in and up. Keep the right palm facing out. Left hand up and over. Virabhadrasana three, exhaling. Standing on the right leg, floating the left leg back. And then gently inhaling. Virabhadrasana one. Exhaling, Virabhadrasana two. Inhaling, Uttara Virabhadrasana. Exhaling, Uttita Trikonasana. Hold. Nice inhale here, exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Left leg floats back, open the hip. Check out your toes. Maybe reach around with that left arm. Exhale. Long core boat to nasa. You want that foot right next to your thumb. And then step the right foot in a bit. You want to be able to keep uh, both your feet on the floor and your hips forward towards the top of your mat. Arms out to the side. Belly button over the knee, folded, hinging forward. Keep the spine as long as you can. You can let your head relax. And root to rise, coming on up. Keep your left palm turned out. Right hand's gonna reach up and over. A lot of us don't clasp the hands on both sides, only one. I'm one of those people, and that's okay. Exhale, Virabhadrasana three. Inhale, line it up for Virabhadrasana one. And then exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, the part of your Virabhadrasana. Try to lift out of the right side waist as much as the left. And then exhale, Uttita Trikonasana. Right arm up and over. Plant your palms, cover that back heel. Quiet as a mouse. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana.
Keep it easeful. Add on a little bit. You're going to float that right leg back. Open the hip. Looking over. Check out your toes. Maybe reach for that right foot with your right hand. And then maybe the shoulders over the wrist and let your right foot explore a little further inviting come up cross and pay attention to um, your left hand as you reach that right arm across the body and towards the top of the mat just like before see if you can really feel a stretch and pec minor on your left side exhale reach it back around three-legged dog Ikapata Adho Mukha Svanasana. Next exhale, step that foot up for a long core boat tonasana. Left foot steps in. Oh, I'm saying core boat tonasana, sorry. <laughs> it's um, not that pose. It's um, Coming forward, bringing that um, belly button over the knee and folding down. And then float it forward, Virabhadrasana 3, breathing in. Here we draw some one, lifting up. Exhale, here we draw some two. The part of here we draw some. Uti to trikonasan. Extended triangle. Left arm overhead. And this time, let's take your left hand around and reach it behind you. Keep that revolution in the spine. Try to let your right wrist reach towards the sun. And as you exhale, re-bend into that um, right knee. If your hand easily stays on the floor without compromising the spine, you can reach underneath for the bind. If not, do the variation that works for you. You can use one of your blocks. You can have your hand on your calf, maybe forearm to thigh. That's fine, it's all the same thing. Straighten your arm with the bind and look up. Root into the left foot to straighten that right leg. Bound to Tita Trikonasana. And gently release, plant your hands. Quiet as a mouse, Chakranga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra up top. Leg reaches, open the hip. Check out your toes. Maybe reach that left arm up and around. So there's a trick to this. You can bring your shoulder over the wrist on that right side a little bit more. Then if you're feeling fancy, you can try and look up. Gently release. Step the left foot up. And find a nice long pose. And then step that right foot in, root to rise. Finding your hand variation. Come on down enough so your hamstrings start to feel a little bit warm. They should be feeling pretty warm. Come on up, a little bit looser. 
Right palm stays out, left hand up and over. Virabhadrasana three. Exhaling, inhaling, Virabhadrasana one. Drawing the ribs back. Exhaling, Virabhadrasana two. Find your feet up, take your time. Inhaling with part of your Virabhadrasana. Exhaling with Tita Trikonasana. Can you energetically, isometrically draw your feet towards each other to make sure you have that lift in the perineal floor, turning your bandhas. Gently rebend into that left knee and scooch that hip underneath the body so it uh, flares out. If your hands are easily on the floor, reaching underneath is probably available. Root into the right foot, straighten that left leg. Vadha Trikonasana. And gently release. Exhaling. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhaling, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Oh, I forgot. Um, Kamakasana, didn't I? We'll take it now. Reach that left leg back, open the hip. I really like it on this side. Bring those left toes behind you. And just see if you can pay attention, really feel your hand rooting in, opening the shoulder. Reach around, sorry about that. Rolling the ribs to the sky. And then take it back around, three-legged dog. And then from here, let's just take a pinyasa so we can even out. Balasana, child's pose, drawing back. Walk your hands over to the right. Find that lateral stretch on the left side. Really wrap your tricep down in that left side. And then feel a stretch emanating from right underneath your shoulder blades like a diamond. Hands to the middle of the mat. Push down, pull back. Take it to the other side. Right hand is pulling. Left hand's pushing the floor away. And then right hand to the middle of the mat. Left hand on top, push down and pull back. Bring your right forearm to the floor. Take your left hand next to your chest. My right arm's at an angle. Just gonna reach up and open that um, left hip a little bit. My shoulder's right over the elbow and I'm just gonna try maybe reaching up with my left hand and finding the ankle. Kick the foot into the hand. My right heel's lifted, but maybe yours isn't. Nice deep inhale here. Bring that left fingertips to the floor and just see if you can find a forearm. Kamat Karasana. Right fingers are facing the left side of the mat, like 90 degrees. Tailbone's nice and long. Maybe reaching that left palm behind you. Some of you might even take this to a full back bend. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Let's take it back around and line up your hands for um, Salamrashir so Shasana A, supported headstand. Elbows right under the shoulders. You can work with dolphin. Or maybe bring the crown of the head to the floor, shoulder blades to sky. And just allow yourself to come on up. Breathing here. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Tops of the feet to the floor. It's so gentle, quiet as a mouse. Bring the shins down and reach your eyes. Come on up. Adjust your outfit if you need to. <laughs> I always need to. Both 
Vipassana arms if you want. Otherwise, you can have your hand at your low back, whatever feels good for you. And inviting a nice variation of Ustrasan. Right hand maybe comes down, and then maybe the left. Keep those hips nice and forward. I want to be falling back, right? Uttaras. Let your hands tuck the toes. Even here. And then just bring the shins down. You're gonna keep the belly scooping in and just walk your hands out for a puppy pose. Forehead and nose should be on the floor for most of us. Some of you chest and chin. Hips stay right over the knees. You can um, lift your forearms, come onto your fingertips if you want, any hand variation. And maybe even walk your thumbs together so your thumbs are touching. And walk it back in. Bring the left forearm in at an angle, elbow right under the shoulder, right hand next to your chest. Let's reach that right leg to the sky, a couple hip circles. Maybe if it's available to you, you can balance. You want to keep that left heel lifted, grounding down through the ball of the foot. Uh, maybe you find that right leg. This is my harder shoulder to work with. Breathing here. Then we gently release and take it to a forearm hamat karasan. Reaching that left arm at a 90 degree angle. And you're reaching that right hand up and over. And I want to respect my shoulder here. Right. Couple breaths. Exhale. Take it back around and line your hands up for Salamba Shasana A. If you prefer like an unheadstand, which is hands in prayer. Don't let the head touch. Balancing on your forearms, you can do that. You can keep the pinkies down. Really root into the floor. And as you exhale, gentler than that. Bring your feet down. It's harder in that menace to coming on it. Other side over here. We're going to reach the right palm out. Reach your left arm up and over. Go with Kasana arms. Tabo long. Maybe a back bend if you want. Otherwise, just take the Mukhasana if you want. Left hand's gonna reach back, maybe finding the heel. Maybe the right arm reaches up and around. Keeping those hips forward. Allow your hands to come to prayer and just see if you can draw the hip points in as you let yourself fall back as much as possible. Root to rise. Plant your palms. Baddha Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Let's just draw that right knee to the chest, shoulders over the wrist. Just step that foot up next to your thumb. I need you to reach the left arm forward and we're going to invite a twist. Elbow to the outside of the knee. You can just stack your hands if you want. Maybe fly the arms, maybe reach around for a bind. If your hand can easily go underneath the belly button that's available to you, you can stay here if you like. You want to keep balanced on the big toe mount. 
I'm probably not talk too much. Root into that right leg, straighten the right leg, and close the left leg. Parvata Baha Arshadrasana. And then from here, gently release. Bring the left hand underneath the shoulder. And Parvata Arshadrasana. Exhale. Virabhadrasana to set your feet up. Nice deep inhale here. Let's turn to the left leg, straighten the right, turn the toes in, interlacing your hands behind you. A little internal rotation. Prasarna Padatanasana. C folding down. like to come up to any headstand maybe near a limba near a lamba you're welcome to do that try the shoulders away from your ears and then finding your straddle hinging at the hips to bring the feet down to start Come on up, you're gonna walk your hands forward for a giant puppy pose like a Great Dane. Inhale, lift the heels, turn your toes out. Think of a prone grand plie. We're gonna open up the inner thighs. Scoop the belly in, reach your sits bones towards the back of the room and you'll feel your inner thighs light up. It's very effective. Let your inner knees get as wide as possible. I like to stay on my forearms for this pose. I find if I let the chest come down, it actually um, lessens the effect. So if you're going more ease today, you bring your chest to the floor. All right. Big toes to touch, walk your hands in. Plant your palms. And just to come on back to that wide angle. And then I'm gonna have you bend into your um, right knee and just take your right arm and reach underneath. And left hand reaches around. And straighten both legs. Find your twist. Rolling right ribs towards the left toes. Maybe the head's on the floor. Draw the shoulders away from your ears if there is. Breathe in here. Nice deep inhale here. You're going to re-bend into that right knee. Turn the toes forward. And let's step that left foot up. So you're going to move nice and gentle. You can do one step or lots of small ones. Keep your right hip moving underneath you. Bring that left foot up. And then from here, straighten the arms and legs together so you'll be in a twist towards the left foot. More energy towards the ball of your foot without falling over, so keep your heels down. And then gently release. Inhale, extend the spine, exhale, fold. Plant your palms. Let's find Vakasana, your favorite variation. And then float it back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra Up Dog. Be nice and easy on your low back. Exhale, Ahim Upashvanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Step the left foot up next to your thumb. 
Take the right arm forward as you rotate to the side. Keep extending the spine towards the top of your mat and reaching your chest towards the sky, especially that right side of the chest. Reach out through your back heel, get lazy in that back leg, unless you need to bring your knee down. And find your clasp, straightening the arm. Maybe look up, breathing here. Then look down for balance, it's gonna help you. Nice and gentle, you're gonna step that back foot in. Root into your standing front leg. And maybe float that right leg. Mana Parva to Arshandrasana. Gently unwind. Right hand under your shoulder. Parva to Arshandrasana. To your thumb, and then exhale, Virabhadrasana to root into the right foot, just straighten the left leg, interlace your hands behind you with your fingers feeling weird, you've got that non-dominant side, exhale, folding and hinge down, shoulders to sky, pinkies moving overhead, some of you might even get your pinkies to the floor. Bless your hearts with your nice open shoulders. <sighs> and maybe coming up to your favorite Headstand, if that's interesting for you. Breathing here. Arms are straight, tops of the hands are on the floor, but they're not too, there's not too much pressure there. Shoulders moving towards my heels, great. Find your straddle, you're gonna hinge nice and slow. Take your time. And bring your feet exactly where they were to start. Mm -hmm. And bend into your left knee. And see if you can find your clasp. Re-straighten that left leg. Keep your inner thigh rolling in. It's a twist. Maybe your head's on the floor. Left ribs moving towards the right toes. As you exhale, you're going to turn the left toes forward. I'm going to re-bend my knee to do that. Scoop your hip under and then take your time to step that right foot up. Maybe you need a couple little steps. Straighten arms and legs together. Gently unwind. This time, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. And we're to rise, coming on up. Ordva Sasana, exhale, Samastihi. Take your hands to your low back and lengthen it. And then let your shoulder blades lift the heart. Uttanasana into Uttanasana. Inhale, extend the spine. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale. Find an arm balance that you want to work with today. Maybe it's Bakasana. Maybe you want to play with Ardha Bakasana. Exhale, Chakmana Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra Up Dog. Exhale, Adha Mukhishmanasana. Downward facing dog. Okay. 
Step the right foot up. And reach that left arm forward, inviting a twist, maybe a bound twist. And you can go right into that. Try to lengthen the right, uh, the right sideways, the top sideways. And then look forward and maybe keep your body for your revolve bound half moon pose. Gently release, left hand right under the shoulder. Try to keep it smooth, keep it easeful. Right arm to sky, a little tricky that one. And then exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Straighten that front leg, turn the toes in. Let's take, um, let's take D. Take your hands to uh, the intercostals, so the side ribs lengthen, shoulder blades lift the heart, and then as you exhale, hinging at the hips. Yogi Tola. Index and middle finger together, sealed with the thumb around the big toe. Let the head come down, shoulder blades to sky. Most people need to bring more energy towards the ball of the foot, keeping the heel in the earth. You're welcome to stay here if you like. You can reach your fingers, uh, your hands out to the side, fingertips on the floor, hands behind your head or in front of your head, either one. If they're straight out to the side, it's a little harder to balance. Lifting the heels, coming on up to an inversion, if you want, on the, any inversion or none. Turning the shoulders right the ears, keeping the arms straight. And I'm actively externally rotating the arms. Hinge at the hips. Come on back down, right where you started. Bend into your right knee and see if you can find your clasp. Straighten both legs for a moment. And then as you exhale, turn that right heel in. Gently step that left foot up a couple times if you need it. This time you're gonna root to your left foot, lift the right heel. Keep your ribs over your left thigh, belly button over the knee. And see if you can scoop the belly in. And come on up. Now you can stay with the leg bent if you like, bird of paradise, reaching that right heel out to the side. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, gently release. And bring that leg back down. Arha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Hands out, wrist circles, and all the way up. Forward wrist asana. Exhale, Samas T. Meeting here. Hands to your low back if you need it. All right. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Play with an arm balance if you want, otherwise we have Vinyasa. You do that Ekapada Vakasana on side one, 
try it on side two. This time you keep your left heel in towards your sits bone. Really push into the floor with your hands. And reach the right leg back. And then Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra up dog. Exhale, Ajna Nupa Shanasana. Step the left foot up. Open into your twist. And maybe you go right away into the bind, right? Even here. Make sure your fingers aren't untying your pants. Nice deep inhale here. Downward revolve, half moon. Straighten the left leg first. We'll set your gaze first. Then straighten the left leg. Then float the right leg back. Unwind right hand right underneath the shoulder. So integrate the left shoulder onto the back. Maybe look up. And then exhale. Virabhadrasana two. Breathing here. Bring it to the right foot, turn the left toes in. Lengthen the tailbone. Any variation of Prasada Padatanasana that makes you happy. Exhale, diving in. You can take another inversion if you want, or you don't have to. Do what your body needs today. Getting paranoid in my bookshelf there. Maybe I'll try this one. I'm gonna try reaching my elbows forward and then do my hands rest on either side of the neck. I'm gonna bring the crown of the head down. Keep my elbows grounding. I haven't played with this one in a while. Hand up. So my pinkies are touching behind my trapezius. And I'm trying to keep my hands resting on the upper trap on the side of the neck. Nice deep inhale as you exhale. Gently come on down. Bend into your left knee, find your clasp. Rolling inner thighs behind you for a moment. So they'll be going towards the uh, left, uh, towards the right side of your mat. Yeah, towards the left side of your mat. Nice deep inhale here. I'm gonna turn the left toes in. Keeping my bind, I'm going to step that right foot up nice and mindfully. Straighten both legs, belly buttons over that right knee. Let your arms straighten here as much as you can. And then as you exhale, I'm going to lift the left heel. Find my alignment, root down through that right foot. And come all the way up. And I might stay here with the knee bent. And maybe extend that leg out to the side. Exhale, gently unwind. Inhale, extend the spine, exhale, fold. Reaching those arms out and up. Exhale, Samastihi. Breathing here. Let's take a moment in your Chadasana. Just gonna check the time. Where are we at? 54. Okay. Let's try that again. Try it from a different angle. Let's see. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, any variation of Anubhatasan standing back bend. Diving 
Inhale, extend. Maybe play with the back bend. Maybe going straight into a Kapata Bakasa. Reaching the left leg back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Nice and easy, floating it back through your vinyasa. Stepping that right foot up. Float that left arm forward and go directly in to my bind. Flying the arms. Straightening the arms any amount. Look forward, look behind your gaze. Set your drishti on something that's not gonna move. Straighten the right leg. And then allow those left toes to reach really far behind you. Gently let that left hand come right underneath the shoulder. All right. Maybe look up and see your thumb. Exhale. Nice gentle step to the back of the mat as you rotate into your Virabhadrasana to your breathing hand. Straighten the front leg, turn the right toes in. And then any variation of your wide angle forward fold. Maybe here, exhale, dive. So that last variation of headstand that I did Jump back so you can see it a little bit more. Hands are supporting the upper trap and allowing a lot of traction for the cervical spine so it can get nice and long. Right? Crown of the head's on the floor. My elbows are actually in front of the crown of my head. So they're not right alongside it. But I guess it would depend on your structure. And if your head doesn't reach the floor, you can place a blanket underneath it to bring the floor to you. All right. This is a little trickier to get into. the heels. I like to bring my legs in for this variation to come up and then find my straddle. Shoulders softening away from my ears. Maybe bringing the feet up. It's super comfortable once you get there. When you're ready, find your straddle, nice and gentle, come down. Inhaling here. And then I'm gonna bend into that right knee. I'm gonna find my clasp. Turn the right toes and scoop that right hip under. All right, so you're in a bound parsvakonasana. And then I'm gonna step that left foot up. Taking your time, straighten both arms and legs. So my left thigh is touching my left rib cage. I'm gonna root in. My left foot lifting the right heel. And then I'm gonna find my flexion in the lower spine as I root to rise. Coming on up. Breathing here. Then me reaching that right heel away, any amount. Exhale, gently release. I don't like that pose. I don't hold it very long. <laughs> Coming on up. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, fold. Let's reach those arms out to the side and do your wrister. Exhale, samasthiti. All right. 
here. Reach those arms to sky. Nice deep inhale as you exhale, open. the right leg back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Nice and simple. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Step the left foot up. And reach around. Bound Parsva Konasana. Flow into your bound revolved half moon. And then so gently bring the right hand right underneath the shoulder. Breathing here. Parva to Ardhashandrasana. Exhale. Virabhadrasana to your Sarada Pada Tanasan, any variation, and make sure you're happy. Probably the last one of these. Exhale, dive in. You know, if you want to play with an inversion, you can do that. Or if you're sick of inversions. split, letting your legs come apart as much as they can, keeping the pinky edge of your foot down for as long as possible, allowing your sits bones to come together, holding here, and when you're ready, and when you can't, your legs won't go anymore, you know, reach your toes towards the sky, bouncing on your hands, and gently glide yourself back into Samakonasana. Knit the sits bones together, lift up nice and tall. Arms out to the side, and as you exhale, hinge forward. If you want to walk your hands out, you're welcome to do that as well. Make sure you're pushing down with your hands and pulling back. Trying to extend the spine here. And when you're ready, walk it back in. Bring the feet together. We'll stretch our feet a little bit here before we come back into our wide angle forward fold. So spread your toes, roll your inner thighs together. If this is too much, we have a lot of plantar fasciitis um, sensation. I'm gonna take a blanket and fold it in, let me back up so you can see. All right, so if you have big time plantar fasciitis issues, I'm gonna take a blanket, fold it in, and place it underneath your knees, okay? And that will take the pressure off for this. You really wanna stretch your feet, which is important. I'm gonna take that away, make sure your pinky toes are on, or folded towards the side of your mat. Breathing your five breaths and strengthen your wrists, right, while we're here. So fast, like you're scratching the dog's butt. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Let's take 10 breaths. Hands out, shake your 
this out. Reach your toes away and then hands to the floor. Come on up so that you're standing on the transverse arch on the top of the foot. Back and forth, big toe to pinky toe. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale, root into your hands. And reach the feet back out for Sarda Pada Tanasana. Some of you might want to press into handstand to do that. I don't want to do that today, I'm super tired. Bend into your left knee, find your clasp. Allowing your twist, left ribs towards the right. And then you're gonna come out. Lift your left heel and turn it back like Virabhadrasana 2. Keep your left hip scooping under. And just step that right foot up. Straighten arms and legs together. And keep your ribs attached to your right thigh. Right? Most people lean back here. Heels stay on the floor, but energy comes forward. Scoop your belly as you lift your right heel. And coming on up. Maybe you stay here, this might be enough for you. Maybe that left leg reaches away. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, gently release. Holding in. Extend the spine, nice deep inhale as you exhale. Step that left foot to the back of the mat. Let's see if you can bring your knee down. Of course, my knee will be right where the mats don't meet anymore. Ardha Hanumanasana. You have your blocks available. Right. Have your hands on your blocks. Even on the highest one. This might be enough for a lot of people. You want your hands right underneath the shoulders, so they're gonna be pretty far back. And then if you wanna glide forward, we open our hamstrings and our hips. Maybe play with Tony Manasin. Right. Rolling that right inner thigh to sky. This is definitely my harder leg for this pose. You can use a blanket or a block, placing it underneath the thigh, breathing here. Rolling that left inner thigh to sky. Walk your hands back, keep your belly scooping in, opening the heart. Letting yourself relax into the pose, but keep the integration of your leg bones into the body. So it's like they're drawing into the hip socket. You can feel the lift in the perineal floor and then you can actually relax a little bit deeper. Some of you might want to take your right hand to the inside. I don't know if I want to do this, but some of you might. And reach back and fold the left heel in, taking a further variation. I don't want to do that. Nice inhale here. And maybe you want to walk it forward, folding over that front leg. Maybe take your hands to the inside. Maybe even see if you can bring your shoulder underneath and reach that arm out to the side. Breathing here. Exhale, back through center. Have your hands on the floor or your blocks. You're gonna root in, tuck the left toes, and reach that right leg back. Doing whatever you wanna do, whatever feels good. Looking over under your left arm, see if you see your toes. All right, going as far as you like. And then let's step that left foot up to pigeon press. 
So right between the hands, or that right foot, sorry, right foot. Right between the hands, you're gonna heel toe that foot over towards the left. Breathing here. Walk your hands in. here to make it active and then fold forward. the hands in, come on up, tuck those left toes, step the right foot back, move through a vinyasa if you want one, right, only if you feel like you need it, and then step the uh, left foot up, I'm going to let that right knee sit down, I'm just going to line my mats up properly. I like to be uh, above the kneecap on that back leg, on the right leg. Breathing here, fall back, Ardha Hanumanasana. I'm scared to move the blocks because my dog is using it as something to lean on. It's okay. I don't know if you can see her. You can stay on the highest ones, this is fine. If you want to come down further, take your time. There's no rush to find Hanumanasana. Some people, a lot of people have this pose very naturally, but for those of us who don't, this pose is a doozy. It's very structural. Big poses have a lot more, these really flexible poses have a lot more to do with your bone structure than they do with um, skill, although skill is important. Breathing here, I walk underneath even on this side, rolling the left inner, rolling the right inner thigh to sky. Lifting on up. If you want to, you can reach for the back foot or even overhead, you've certainly done with the elbows enough. Notice if you're turning in, see if you can bring the belly button over the knee. Right? Just like Padottanasana, which I kept naming wrong at the beginning of class. Maybe exhale, folding over the leg. You're gonna take your hand to the inside. You can stay there. And if you like, maybe bending that left knee, scooching your shoulder underneath. Reaching the arm through. And then seeing if you can relax the earth. Gently coming out, taking your time. 
tuck the right toes. And let's see how that looks like. Moving anything. I like to extend the leg. And then as I exhale, I'm going to step that left foot right between the hands. Heel toe, that right foot over to the left. Find my pigeon prop. Do the variation that works for your hips. Right? More externally rotated hips need a more parallel or even beyond parallel shin. Uh, more internally rotated hips, so hips are easy for Hanumanasana. You're going to bring the heel in closer to your groin or maybe even stay on the shin on that front leg. Right inner thigh rolls to sky. And you find active variation. And exhale, come on down. Make yourself relax. So walk your fingertips in, come on up, and then root into the left hip. You're just going to bring that right hip forward. And we're going to invite um, Lotus and maybe Narachasana B, which is um, harder than D. Let's bring that down. Okay. So. Sits bones grounding. You're gonna reach the legs forward, turning the toes out. Take your hand underneath your right knee and close the knee joint, and then bring the heel closer into your sits bones. And then I'm gonna keep the foot flexed, knee joint super close, and I'm just going to glide it over that left leg. Right? Trying to wrap the toes around, and then reaching that inner right knee away. Note the left toes are turned out. I'm gonna bend that knee. This might be enough for you. Maybe I'm going to a little half turn, a little quarter turn towards the right. I'm gonna keep closing the left knee joint, foot stays flexed, and saw it in. Okay. So you're bringing your heel towards the outside of your belly button. Breathing here. See if you can find a clasp. And then wrap your toes around your triceps, push your hands into the floor, and then you're gonna float. Good, nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, six bones come back down. I wanna keep that left knee joint closed and bring that foot to the floor. And then I'm gonna find my quarter turn so my knee is facing forward. And I'm gonna reach that left arm to sky and in front. And then I'm gonna get as low as possible. I'm gonna let my shoulder come underneath the shin and reach around. And if my fingers find my outer hip, I can probably reach around and find the clasp. Bring here and you can play with your toe. Folding down, right? So the foot's in half lotus. My sits bones are down. I'm gonna Get my shoulder nice and low. I'm gonna pet the dog. Sorry, she my little. Here you go, sweet girl. I'm gonna reach my hand around. Right, and then reach the other hand around. And straighten the arms, folding over the leg. Narachasana B. Gently release. 
release. Banana. And let's reach that. You can unfold. And then we can invite Surya Namas uh, Parvati Surya Namaskar. Or uh, <laughs> my words today. Parvata Surya Yantrasana compass or sundial and some of you might even keep that left foot in lotus as you invite that sundial pose I've yet to make that happen in my body but let's see kind of sort of Bring it back down, bring your legs up. Let's find Janusha Shasin, right leg reaching forward, belly button over the knee, very familiar. And then go. And walk it back in. All right, both legs out. Bending that left knee. If you can find your Ardha Padmasana, right toes are already turned out, unfold the right knee, quarter turn, Padmasana. Breathing here, clasp your hands the other way. See if you can wrap your toes around your triceps, it makes this way easier. Plant your palms and lift that up. I'm gonna bring that back down. Now I'm gonna take that right foot and just place it on the earth. And then once again, I'm gonna find that little half, that little quarter turn. So the right, so the left knee's facing forward and I'm gonna bring my belly button over the knee. Let my right hand get as low as possible. And maybe reach my left hand around and see if I can clasp Manachasana B. My right sits bones is off the floor. So again, I'll show it from the side. It's once lifted. We'll allow that. I'm going to keep that. Try to straighten your arm. You can hug your inner right knee in towards the body. Lift that up. Come on out. And then I'm going to reach that left leg nice and long. See if I can find Parvata Surya Yantrasana. Breathing here. Easier with your hand on the pinky or using a strap or the hand on the outer edge of the foot. Right? It's a little tighter as your hand kind of goes up towards your knee. Come on out of there and then let's try it. I don't know if I can do it with that half lotus on the side. It feels harder. Oh, breathing here. Wish my lotus isn't as tight with this leg on this side. So it's like my foot's in the way. I'm still gonna try. Oh, that feels awkward. Yeah, I don't like it on that side. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Breathing here. And then I'm gonna reach the left leg out. John is your Shasan. It should be right there. Belly button over the knee, walk it forward.
push the crown of the head forward and on. I was hoping to do some back bends, but I think I'm out of time. So, you come on back, take the hands behind your knees, exhale, roll it up. And just rock your knees side to side. You can have the feet on the floor to do that if you want, or knees into your chest, whatever feels better for your low back, let it relax. And even here, you're just gonna do a supported bridge for a few breaths. And just in a ton of forward fold. So I kind of want to counter, but counter poses should be not your maximum. Just let yourself relax. I'm also tired today, so I don't want to overdo the back bends. They're, they're very energizing, and I kind of want to let myself, I want to allow the rest of my day off for my um, workplaces that I need to be, that I usually am, so. day of rest. You can establish your position, relax your glutes. If you want more energizing back bends, by all means, right? Draw the right knee into the chest and reach the leg to sky. And reach your left leg out, open the hip flexor on that side. Maybe let your right toes go out to meet that. You want to make sure that your sacrum is super supported. You can reach your arms overhead. Feet to the floor, left knee into the chest, reach that leg to sky, reach the right leg long. Now let your hip hiking, see if you can reach it forward. And maybe let both feet come down, adjust your block if you need to. Exhale, knees into the chest. If you want like a supported inverted end up, so you just reach the legs to sky, even here. And bring the feet down. Back lie the block out, roll it out one vertebra at a time. Drop your knees to the right and then to the left and back through center. Right ankle over the right knee over the left, hips to the right, knees to the left. Supta, Ardhamasi, and Drasan, any variation. Center, left ankle over right, bring the hips 
back through center, knees to the chest, a couple low back circles, one or two extractions. Set yourself up for your final relaxation. It's winter here, so or late fall, it's December, so I'm gonna invite a um, I'm gonna use a blanket. So it is a little bit chilly.
last cycle begin to bring some awareness back to the breath take a nice deep inhale in exhale through the mouth start to move the fingers and toes we'll move the joints become a little more fluid knees to chest if you like side of the body if you like and make your way up to a nice comfortable seated position sitting up nice and tall for playing along and hope to see you again. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace and perfect peace. Namaste, yogins.